Hi and welcome to another Instrument Choice Support video. In this experiment we use red cabbage to estimate the pH of several everyday household products then test our results against a pH meter. Inside of red cabbage is a type of molecule called an anthocyanin. Anthocyanins are water soluble vacular pigments that, depending on their pH, can appear purple, blue, red or even black. The colour change in varying pH levels is due to the structure of the anthocyanin pigments which subtly change at different pH levels. We can put nature to the test by mixing a selection of known alkaline, basic and acidic substances with our homemade anthocyanin pH indicator, also known as cabbage juice. The extraction process can be performed in a couple of ways. The easiest way is to chop approximately two cups of red cabbage, cover it up with water, then boil the water until it is a deep purple colour. Once the water is a deep purple, strain the leaves out. The remaining liquid is your cabbage pH indicator. Let it cool down before use. Out of the kitchen and back in the lab, we have poured some of our cabbage solutions into separate containers. With these, we have some samples of products from around the home of varying pH levels. These are bleach, bicarb soda, hand sanitizer, pH balanced shampoo, white wine vinegar, and lemon juice. The cabbage solution will change colour based on the pH level. The table above shows the expected colour change depending on the pH value. As we mix the household products into the cabbage juice, you can see immediate changes. On a closer inspection, you can see the full scale of the colour changes. From the bleach appearing yellow, to bicarb a blue-green, no changes to the neutral substances, and pink red on the acidic end. Let's compare the expected values to the actual pH readings, starting with the bleach. The first test settled on pH 9.8, which is significantly lower than we expected. A later retest resulted in pH 11.1, .1, which is much closer to our expected range. Next is our bicarb soda. Based on the colour, we are expecting our measurement to be between pH 8 and 9. The final result is 8.9. Next we have our two neutral solutions. We expect these to sit around pH 7 or possibly a bit below. The hand sanitizer finishes up at 6.5. and the pH neutral shampoo sits slightly lower than expected at pH 6. Last of all, our two acidic solutions. Based off the mixture colour, the white wine vinegar should sit somewhere between pH 3 and 4. Our final value is pH 3.7. And last of all is the lemon juice. With a much deeper red-pink colour, we expect this to be maybe between pH 2 and 3. We have our final value of pH 3. And that's the final values of all the household solutions, the cabbage pH estimates versus the actual. This experiment is a fantastic example of how naturally occurring anthocyanin pigments in cabbage can be used as a pH indicator to estimate the pH level of various household products. So, is it time to ditch your pH meter for a natural alternative? Probably not. If you require an indication of pH only and you have a cabbage available, then nature provides an option. However, for high volume, precise, convenient, professional and dependable results, it's probably best to stick to your pH meter. We hope that you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.